been a cool and damp day out. Uh, very little sun today. Uh, now that it is dinner time, I want something kind of warming, so I thought I'd make some soup. And I've had a little craving for some split pea soup. So earlier in the day, I soaked some, and I think I'm going to put them on now to cook. And I just thought I'd uh, take you through this because a lot of times I cook kind of fancy and show you. But today is definitely not going to be fancy. This is going to be the simplest of simple cooking. Okay, so earlier in the day I rinsed off some split peas and then I just stuck them in a container and covered them with some water. And this is filtered water because I figure I can just use it to, uh, to cook the split peas. Since I already rinsed them off, this, can, uh, this water can just be used to cook them. I'm going to need to add a little bit more water here. These, um, these split peas usually take a lot more water to cook than you would think. I would say cover them pretty, pretty well with water because otherwise you're probably going to find you're going to have to keep adding some water, which is, which is okay too. Now, normally I would cook this with a little bit of vegetable broth or beef broth or something. I didn't eat chicken, so I don't use chicken broth, but um, some kind of broth. But since I don't have any broth, I'm going to use a couple of powdered vegetable broth products that I have. This one is old. In fact, it's so old, the, uh, the date on the top of it is, uh, has been worn off. But it's mostly salt, so I'm sure it's fine. Uh, <laughs> you know, salt doesn't go bad. And because this is mostly salt, I'm, I'm not worried at all about using this. But this is, um, this is some little powdered broth that I used to buy at the health food store. I can't find this stuff anymore. And honestly, it's not very good, but it does help bring out a little bit of flavor since I don't have any beef broth or real vegetable broth. Uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of it. And since I don't really care for the flavor of it entirely, I have some other vegetable broth here that I found recently here locally. And um, I have no idea how to pronounce that. K-A-W-I foods. Um, but I really like this one. It is really expensive though. So uh, I'm kind of sorry that I like it. But I'm happy that I have have a little bit of something. I am gonna, eventually I'll run out of this not so great one. And I'll need something else, but um, with this, uh, I've just been using this, not quite to the strength that the package says to use, but I'm just using it as a little base flavor. As you can see here, I don't have any carrots or onions or celery that I'm cooking up. Normally, if I'm making a soup, I would start off with a mirepoix, chop all that up, and then brown it off, and then start the soup. But I don't have any carrots, I don't have celery, I don't have onion or garlic or anything like that. So I'm going to use these broth powders as my extra seasoning. And I find that to be fine. You know, there's a lot of times where I just can't get to the store or uh, for whatever reason, I just don't have extra things on hand. Uh, and so these kinds of things kind of make it easy for me. And like I said, this is simple, simple cooking. And so uh, I'm just going to use whatever I've got around and it's going to be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll, I'll keep saying that to, to, uh, convince myself too, because obviously I, I like something to be cooked well, and so I would prefer to cook with carrots and onion and celery fresh and start that way. But this is okay too. Well, I just wanted to mention this little container that I was using to soak the split peas in. 
Uh, this is a container made by a company called Sea to Summit, and they make backpacking and hiking gear, really good quality backpacking and hiking gear. And I've seen these around. I bought these maybe a year and a half ago or so at a discount store. Uh, I've seen them in REI for years, and the reason that I gave them a try is because they flatten down when they're not in use. So they just scrunch down because of the silicone, which makes them a really handy thing to have in the van. Now, they were sold as a set of two, so they, they came kind of nested together. So this smaller one would sit into the lid of the larger one here. And I'm not crazy about the material of these. This is nylon and food grade silicone and not crazy about nylon as a food container, but it's better than a plastic bag, which was what I was using before I uh, had these. And so I use this, I use this one or the larger one that I have as well if I need kind of more storage. Uh, but I tend to use the smaller ones a little bit more. So they have the same kind of nylon lid and little ring around the outside to provide a seal. And then the whole bottom of the smaller ones is silicone, food grade silicone. And uh, I find these to be really helpful. You see how tiny that is? And yet once you pop it open, uh, it holds quite a bit. So I like these, I'm, I'm kind of happy with them, uh, and I use them all the time. Like I said, it kind of got me away from using plastic bags. Uh, my preference is to use like a mason jar, and I have a few of these jars. Uh, I tend to not use these quite so much uh, because I need to be a little bit careful where I put these. Uh, it, you know, I'm living in a moving vehicle, so, there's always a chance that this would break, although this is probably the best type of type of glass to have in a van because it's it's good solid glass. This thing is great for leftover oat milk or half and half or something that uh, I just need to toss the container and put it in a smaller container. Uh, or I'll use these for overnight oats. Uh, they work really well for that. Um, so I use, I use glass whenever I possibly can, but there's times where I want to make something that is going to be a little more than uh, what I can fit in this glass jar. And so that's why I have these kind of larger containers. And I, I understand that a lot of people don't like uh, to use plastic type or even silicone type things for food storage. And I, uh, I would prefer to use something else as well, but... When you live in, an, in a van, you do have to make some compromises. And I think these are kind of the best compromise there is, uh, especially the pure silicon ones. So Sea to Summit um, is the brand. And like I said, I'm happy with them. One little downside to cooking split peas is they take a little while to cook normally. So I'm going to put my feet up and let these go. And... Uh, the one nice benefit about cooking something for a long time is it's free heat. Because it was chilly. I've been wearing my sweater all day. But I don't need it now. It's nice and toasty warm in here. Okay, that didn't take long at all. Soaking them really does make a difference. I think that was, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes of cooking and they are nicely cooked. Okay, I'm going to taste this for seasoning. Hmm. It's good. I think I guessed just about right with the uh, stock powder. Dripping everywhere. All right. Um, now, the only thing is, this is nice and good and nourishing, of course, but... I'm going to be hungry if I don't have a little something more to go with it. So uh, usually with something like this, I would have a grilled cheese sandwich. But I don't have any bread here in the van. 
but I do have some tortillas and no, I didn't, uh, I didn't make these tortillas, but these are actually pretty good. I get these at Trader Joe's. They're handmade tortillas from Trader Joe's and they're actually decent. So I am going to just make up a little quesadilla, uh, basically a Mexican grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, and that will, that will be my, my little extra sandwich to uh, give me just a little more food to go with this soup. All right, I'm not even going to grill these. I'm just going to put these and kind of toast them off in the pan here. And once they are nice and melted, I will have dinner. Okay, quesadillas are done. And I remembered I had a little leftover bacon from breakfast this morning. So I'm just going to add the tiniest amount of some crumbled bacon into my soup. And, oh, you know what I need for these quesadillas? Some yellow bird. Gotta do it. This is the only way. So just a little bit of yellow bird in there. All right, this is a really simple meal, but this suits me just fine. It seems like the simple meals are the ones I kind of appreciate the most. Let's give this a little taste. Mm -hmm. The soup's good. The bacon helps, I have to admit. And a quesadilla with a little bit of Serrano yellow bird is pretty good too. I'm going to get to eating. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.